Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I have a few minutes in the workshop today. Well, about an hour, I guess. Jason is cooking for us right now, and then I have to go back out this afternoon and pick up my grandbabies. And I love that. That's not a problem, but it doesn't give me a whole lot of time to, to work today in my workshop. I wanted to show you three journals that I just put into the shop and they are labeled, uh, I believe, hmm, maybe one, two, and three. The journals are all made exactly the same way. They are covered in this vintage quilt, and they have my stamp on the back. Each one on the front has this beautiful fabric that has the goose on it. I don't know what's on my fingers. I've been playing with stuff art this morning. But this beautiful fabric, Jay, once again, thank you for this. I have loved using this. Each journal has got front and back pockets and the inside of the journal is lined with this beautiful goose fabric. The pockets are cotton across the bottom and then there's a piece of lace across the top of each one. So I will flip through the pages. I just wanted to to show you that and I believe so this is the first one the, each one has got a couple of these distressed tags there's my business card each one has this tiny little greeting card with the pretty uh, yellow finch on there and each one has one of these postcards which I think is amazing uh, local artist Sandra I guess that's Eileen. she's in Wilmington North Carolina but this is from a gallery piece of hers, I believe. This is from 2003, but just look at that. I, I was able to get my hands on several of these. So each journal has this in the front pocket. And each journal is going to have an old calendar page in the front, and then a page of scrapbook paper, a plain writing page. There is a page from one of my image zines. There's a page from a very large bird book, wallpaper, and then there is a scan from a quilt. That was part of the image zine. More writing paper, more scrapbook paper, and another old calendar page. I love the way these uh, little illustrations and numbers look. That's another page from the image zine. And there's a page from a very old map, either the 30s or the 40s, and another blank writing paper. There is a piece of ephemera. This is a typewritten page. It's in another language. I believe it's German. Another beautiful piece of wallpaper. And then another typewritten page. This is from 1968. Another blank piece of writing paper another piece of that map, a page with music on it, and then the center is a beautiful picture from the large bird book. So of course on this side you're just getting the other sides of those pages. And then in the back of each one there is a large greeting card and these are from the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation and inside that are two of the vintage Chinese paper cutouts. Each one is wrapped in rice paper. The actual cutout is very delicate, very thin, and very bright. I've recently used these to do some collage work, and they're just beautiful. So I won't open all of those. I just wanted you to see the color on that one so that you'll know what they look like. So let me tuck this back in, and I will quick, quickly show you two and three. So the second one, again, it's got the beads on the outside, the little key charm, the metal ring, and they're all a little bit different. I'm not sure if you really got a good look at the first one. So the paper in this one, an old calendar page, scrapbook paper. I'm just gonna go quickly. So there's the bird page in that one. And there's the wallpaper. Everything is pretty much exactly the same. Uh, the wallpaper might be a little bit different color. Scrapbook paper, as you can see, might vary a little bit. And these old calendars, of course, are unique because they're vintage. 
and they're going to vary a little bit. There's the old typewritten page in this one from 1968. Wallpaper, another piece of ephemera. This is from Virginia Intermont College, Student Christian Union. It's addressed to Dear New Girl, which is really cool. That's an old typewritten page. Blank paper, the map page, music, and then here's the center of this one. So, again, you're just seeing the backs of the pages because that was a center. This one also has a card. Each card is different. It's floral and it's from Colonial Williamsburg. But each one has those two butterfly cutouts. And they might all vary a little bit, but they're all going to be the same color palette and the same delicate vintage paper. So then here's the last one. These are the beads on this one. And the paper in this one. You have the old calendar page. And while I'm flipping through, I will just tell you, I do have a playlist on my channel where we all worked together in the quilt covered journals. And that ended up being a lot of fun. I think several of us felt like we ended up with treasures for our journals. In fact, this one is mine. And by the end of the journaling sessions with those, uh, the lessons on each, I think she sits under here, the lessons on each video, I think we just ended up with something that was absolutely gorgeous. And I know this is definitely a keepsake for, for myself, and I've heard from several of you that you felt like you ended up with a treasure with these quilt cover journals. So if you are inclined to order one, there is definitely a playlist of videos that you can um, journal along, along with and build a journal with all sorts of pages. And there are ideas, things that you can do Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> this, I need to go back and just look at this. Actually, my granddaughter would love to sit down and look through this with me. Okay, so carrying on, we have the vintage calendar page. That's from the image zine. You can see the old map page, blank writing paper, and piece of ephemera there. The wallpaper in this one has the blue. It looks like a hydrangea. So, let's get, there's the center of this one. And then again, you can just see the other side of all of these pages. So these three journals are available in the shop and each one comes with two of the Chinese paper cutouts. Thank you so much for watching. I know I mentioned giveaways. I do have some things that I want to give away and I will be back with that as soon as I can. But thank you for watching and I will be back really, really soon. Bye for now.